Well, Sue, uh, nice to meet you. I appreciate you uh, inviting me to the interview. Um, my name is Omar Vergara. I was uh, born and raised in Sunnyside, Washington, Eastern Washington. Uh, came up to Seattle to go to school um, in fall of 2011. And from here, I've just been grinding and uh, slowly trying to change the boxing industry with Arcaro Boxing. Yeah, so I've told Trisha and I've told different people, I think of like Arcaro Boxing as a hub of how boxing mechanics and the actual, well for me, the actual sweet science of what boxing is, rather than just sharing media and sharing uh, the different boxers on TV already, I'm really wanting to nitpick what boxing is with the help of functional patterns because uh, they helped us out a lot in acquiring these new tools on what body mechanics are. And uh, so far it's been the truth and I could, I could see a lot of change happening just in this past year. Yeah, uh, functional patterns as a, as a system, it's a system for within the fitness industry or within the health industry or within whatever it may be to you. Um, I've been, it's based on the biology of a human. It's based on the gait cycle. It's based on running, throwing, and uh, walking. Uh, so at first it was interesting to start developing it for our training just because uh, we were relearning how to walk. So it was, it was a very humbling experience and with it we've been getting stronger. Uh, we've been getting six packs. We've never done a crunch. We've never done a push up and uh, we're only getting faster. So uh, it's, a, it's an interesting system. I recommend it. It's on you. There's a bunch of information on YouTube for free. Um, one of the only systems that provides that and they're providing a lot of content. Um, and uh, yeah, I think they're, they're changing the game and what we believe as a human body should do and look like. Yeah, um, I'd say I mean, boxing. Boxing is my hobby, my passion. Um, I grew up raised on soccer uh, I, since I was like four, um, but I always had an itch that I wanted to do boxing and I didn't get to officially do it until I came up here to Seattle. And I did it when I was like 12 and 14, just throughout my high school. I studied myself. I've always been self-driven. Um, so I'd say that's something that I've been building on that motivation and building my self-awareness. So with that help, uh, I see my future being open to any change, honestly. I, uh, I've been uh, accepting, as we talked about earlier, about vic being the victim and being okay with us making the choice and us being the ones in charge of our destination. Um, with that, I feel like I'm not really too worried about what the future may hold. I just know that I'm holding myself accountable uh, moving forward and it could potentially be with uh, a boxing gym in another location uh, because we build it with the help of our Carol or I, I'm happily to be here with our Carol. As I said, we're trying to change what boxing is seen as. Um, so I'd say it, it'll always be boxing for me in, in some form or another. I actually started uh, boxing because I was in the pursuit of becoming a professional. Uh, the goal was to be uh, with the platform of Muhammad Ali status to change perspective and change an awareness of our people as us as humans um, and our Carol Boxing has been that space and platform for me um, so I've, I've, I've been using and experiencing that knowledge. I would tell myself uh, to be a little bit more risky and I would tell myself to be a little bit more I wouldn't say disrespectful but a little bit because uh, I think I was a little too respectful and I followed a lot of instructions and I let people control my paths a lot rather than myself. Um, so I think when I freed myself from uh, the perspective of others uh, is when I was finally Omar, I would say. Yeah, um, honestly, I don't do much. Um, I, I am there to help someone be accountable. Um, I'm there to hopefully not tell you what to do, but guide you through maybe some questionings you may have of uh, what you may want to accomplish with your body. Um, but I'd say uh, to keep people motivated is just being that, being the consistent. So uh, being at the gym every day, uh, coming through when there's snowmageddon, making sure that we're here for people that want to get in the work. So uh, if you're a person that wants to get in the work, come to our Carol Boxing. We're right next to some great food, peloton. We got Nate's Moves and Waffles. Um, so have a great workout and then come have some food as well. So uh, uh, I think that's all I have to say for this, unless there's anything else you may want me to uh, talk about. Mm -hmm. So we have a sparring class uh, that's three days a week. I teach one of those during the week. And then we have fitness classes. 
uh, and we have a fitness class during the day that's box lunch. So uh, we have fitness and sparring and then uh, private clients. So that's something else that we do at the Arcaro Boxing. So uh, our intent is always to show people boxing skill during our fitness class rather than rather than just uh, having people sweat. We don't want people just to sweat. We want you to go in there, learn some boxing skills, and walk out and say that you are learning how to box, not just in there to throw punches and get sweaty. Um, so in our private session, what we do is we get more specific and we dial in way more. Thank you, Sue, appreciate it.